Our very last stitch on our sampler is going to be our tailor's tack. Tailor's tacks are very, very useful. They can be, make things very quick and also very neat. So not as to put anything onto your fabric, marking-wise, that's not going to come off. Tailor tacks are used to mark where your darts go, the ends, your vanishing points, and the shape of your dart. Uh, tailor tacks are used to mark your hems for your sleeves and your and your bottom of your jacket. They're used for your pocket placements and the placements of your buttonholes. You should never be using your tracing wheel or tracing paper in this project. We will only be using Taylor's chalk and Taylor tacks. So I'm going to show you how to do this. This will be at the bottom of your sampler so you can take like what I just did is to take and turn it up so your fabric is double at the end and this is what your sampler should look like. I'm going to show you in my demonstration how to finish this off but I just want you to do this much for the sampler so that you can remember how it was done. Okay so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do tailor tacks. Tailor tacks are really nothing more than a long basting stitch that you're going to leave some give in um, so that when you separate your two layers, uh, you'll have threads on both sides. And I'll show you in, in my example in just a minute. So I've put just two pieces of fabric together because I want my tailor tacks for my right and my left side of the garment. Um, I have my thread is twice as long as, so two arm lengths no knot at the end. Okay, and definitely waxed. It goes much, much faster when you wax it. So what you're going to do is just to simply take a basting stitch. Make sure you leave a nice tail at the end. And you're going to come over. Um, the size is really going to depend on what you're marking. Obviously, if you're doing a vanishing point, you would just go a tiny bit. But what I do, my little trick to getting the fullness, is to stick my finger in and then pull. I'm going to go over the same length. And this is where the wax really helps the thread. As you can see, it's already starting to get a little uneven. So you can really fix it wax makes it easier to fix. Again, I'm going to take my stitch, come along here, slide my finger in, and just give it a little tug. The more fullness, the better. The longer your tails are on the other side, the better off you're going to be. So here is my tailor tacks. And get to the end, nice long tail. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the yarns so that they end up on the right side of the fabric. So I'm going to take this and now tug, pick it up this way, and tuck it, and tuck it. So now the yarn, see, see how the yarns have, the, I'm sorry, see how the threads have straightened out? And now what I want to do is to go inside and very carefully the trick here is do not pull. Clip and move on. Clip the thread right in half. See, I'm tempted to pull there because that one's kind of small, but cut it right down the center, not to one side because you need these threads. And there I go. I've got my garment marked on both sides. So I can see where my hemline is, I can see where my darts are, I can see where my pockets go. Again, the longer the thread, the bigger your loop. I, I go over my finger typically, but if you have, you can leave a bigger loop if you need to. And that's a tailor, that is a professional tailor's tailored tack. Okay? So go ahead and try it on your sampler. Leave your loops. Don't cut them on the sampler. Then go ahead and try it if you'd like on a second piece of scrap. Uh, fabric, two pieces of fabric together. Give it a try on that. But for your sampler, leave it as I showed you. 
just so you have, I want you to make sure you have a reference when we get to this. Okay? Go ahead and try.